Well, I'm working on my 57 oval today, kind of bringing it back to life. The rear drum, the nut there, it's supposed to be 217 foot-pounds. It might have been 17 foot-pounds. So it was all jacked up. I've got a number of drums that I'm trying to fit. Uh, they all hit the backing plate different ways and they rub. So I've got a little scenario I'm gonna try. An orthodox, but uh, we'll see what we can do. It rubs all on the backing plate. So obviously, we're gonna put this on backwards, which is a little tight. What does that do, you might ask? Well, we're gonna try to grind this edge down. See if we can make that fit. So the grinding isn't going to work out. It's just not taking off enough material. So we'll uh, step up our game. So I wonder if we just cut that as it's running and cut a whole piece off of this one to make it look like this. This one works. I need another one. that looks like. Probably should have worn ear protection. They're kind of ringing. Moment of truth. Ha oh, ha! Look at that. Money. Now they're looking kind of the same. Let me go see somebody about my hearing. Wear ear protection. I like this ring. I don't know why. What am I gonna do with that? We now have a matching set. Here's the original brake drum that was on the car that worked on the passenger side. It's a little lip. It does not hit the backing plate. Now to the other side see our finished product here's the other one that we cut down here's the lip does not hit the backing plate it's pushed all the way in there good clearance till next time the end